Hello, my name is Mike Giacomo, and I'm running for Keene City Councilor at large. I'm running for Keene City Councilor because I believe that Keene City Council has become disconnected from the people who they represent. I believe that Keene deserves a councilor who truly understands the needs of the future and present of Keene. Now, I love Keene. I've lived here for the last seven years in town, been working in Keene for the last 10, and I've spent nearly all 30 of, 30 of my 33 years on earth in Cheshire County. And needless to say, this town is fantastic. This has been a wonderful place to live, and as I'm recently engaged, I hope to raise a family here as well. But Keene has some very pressing issues. The first and foremost issue, which is on everyone's lips, especially those running for council right now, is of course the heroin epidemic. I believe that the current councillors and the mayor and the police in Keene are doing a great job trying to combat this epidemic. However, I still believe there is more that can be done. Collaboration with many of the other cities and towns across New England that are also facing similar epidemics. I think that we have a lot to learn from some of the successful programs that might have been implemented across other areas. I'm a chemical engineer by trade, and I, we call this an engineering, it's a best practice sharing. We share our best practices so that hopefully down the road we don't spend money in ways that aren't, haven't been proven to be effective. It's about efficiency. Spend our money in keen efficiency, efficiently. And that is, that is one of the primary concerns right now in the near term that's affecting the town and ripping apart families. It's horrible. And Keene has some other problems that are a little bit more underneath the surface. These are issues that will start to manifest themselves in the next five to ten years and beyond that in the future. And to preface this, I'll say Keene's average age is approximately 33 to 34 years old right around the same age as myself. Now, in most places in the state, they have higher average ages than this. Keene is a quite young city on average compared to the rest of New Hampshire. And where some might think that this is a really positive thing, for instance, young people generally mean lots of young families, mean a lot of income into the local economies. Unfortunately, that part of the equation isn't coming through in Keene. We have a very young average age but yet our number of people in Keene, who are actually between the ages of 5 and 18, school age, is way, way, way below the, both the national average and the state average. Keene is only 11% of its population is school age, compared to 17 for New Hampshire and 18 for the national average. Now this poses an interesting problem. We have all the people that are generally of the ages that are going to be having families. However, the families aren't here. What does this mean? Why are people not having families in Keene? Why are people leaving Keene in that age group? This question should be on the lips and on the minds of every counselor because this truly is the future of Keene. This is a pressing issue. In my involvement with the organizations around the city, they target a lot of young professionals. And as part of the research that I've done in this, we're finding a whole variety of reasons. There are as many reasons that people leave Keene as there are people that leave Keene. There are a couple themes, though, that carry throughout. One of these themes, of course, being the price of living in Keene. Rental properties average close to $1,000 per month and housing, if you can afford the property taxes, it gives you equal issues as well for cost. The other issue, of course, being productive jobs in town, industrial jobs. You lose your job, you're in a lot of trouble in Keene. There aren't a lot of jobs that you can find. So in order to face these issues, you need someone who isn't just the data, isn't just aware of the data, but actually is the data. You need someone who is the future of Keene, to help plan for the future of Keene. So on November 3rd, I urge you, vote for Keene. Vote for Keene's future. Vote for Mike Giacomo. Thank you.